All right, we're back. We're gonna see if we can get our. Let's see if we can get the uh, scene right here. Strawberry clouds. Massacre. What a great word. Whoa! What is going on? Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that I like that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did something, ab I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little bit more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we are doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So... Natsuki. Nobody cares. What is wrong with you? Why do you go look for some coins under the vending machine or something? I want caribou! Did she actually say that? I have plans, bitch! Oh my lord! Yuri, no! They're ignoring the fact that I've been... This game does not take the request of the palms right now. Oh, yeah! Everything is fine. Very well. <laughs> 200 degrees? What the fuck are you doing? I like my tea as hot as the fucking sun. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so be more impressed. Yeah, impressive to, to say. That's so? No. I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Ha <laughs> ha! That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You always worried about me, Caribou. It's very endearing. That's. Why? I don't like you. Stop. Where's my girl? What'd you do, Yuri? Did you kill her? Hold it with my hands. I know that we haven't technically gone over this if you're actually just watching my playthrough, but... I don't actually touch your chest! <laughs> Meanwhile, no, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression. Can, I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I'm so fucking... The, I have... I've never had anxiety playing a game. That This game gives me major anxiety. is making me go insane. I'll take another chocolate. And I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. <laughs> she simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. <laughs> oh, there you go, sexy. Just like that, Yuri closed her lips over it. Huh? Yuri's expression certainly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, Caribou. So sorry. Guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, uh... Fuck. I... I can't... Caribou. Suddenly, Yuri forcibly grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Ah! Oh, she's fucking psychotic. No. Ah! <laughs> it even makes me not want to be. I just want to look at you. No, you don't. I'm hideous! Oh god! Oh. I feel violated. Uh. <laughs> shit, don't scare me. <laughs> this is freaky. Is this all there is? I miss you, Sayori. God dang it. <sighs> I literally counted and I did everything that you normally like in a poem. Of course you love it because... M Why? Sure, I don't care. You're too nice to me, Caribou. I've never met anyone as nice as you. 
I could die. And not really, but I just want to know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? Ah! Ah! I'm not gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading. <laughs> oh, I promise I'm a hideous beast. Stop. Stop. I'm giving myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Ugh. I don't want to. Stop after you read it. I know you're really gonna want to keep it. <laughs> Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hey, read it! Oh yeah, that's English. You know, I'm pretty sure this says something. But I cannot read it. Yuri, stop. <sighs> You're the most psychotic so far. I, I, I think it's Monica, to be the to be honest, the most psychotic, but. I have no proof so far that, that ties her into it besides the possibility that Monica told Sayori to kill herself. That's, that's what I think might happen. But that's speculation. This, so far, is freaky. And not the good kind of freaky. Oh, shit. I think I'm going to vomit. Why?! Suki. What? Give me. Gross. to bring this up but there's some but there's been something I've been worried about Yuri has been acting kind of strangely lately you've only been here a few days so you may not know what I mean but she's not normally like this she's always been quiet and polite and attentive things like that okay it's really embarrassing but I'm really forcing myself to suck it up the truth is I'm really worried about her but if I try talking to her she'll just get mad at me again I don't know what to do I think you're the only person that she'll listen to I don't know why, but try, please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try to be, to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me. She seems like the only normal one. I've always wanted to try being better friends. Yep. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been act really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming up to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend I'm like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's your own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Caribou? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. What in the fuck is going on? What is going on? You and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. 
Monica! Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Whoa! Monica! Monica! Oh god, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds places to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah, it's only kind of messed up. Fucking help your friend. <sighs> the fuck are you telling me this for? It is a sexual thing, you, you freak. It's my fault. Ah, yeah, thanks. You, you cleared everything up for me. I have no problem. She's freaky, but still, you freak me out just as much. Monica! How did you mess it up? I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. Of course, why not? Yes. Can you hear me? <laughs> yep. I can hear you. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival oh, preparations. We're at this point again. Didn't take us long. It's mostly because we had to skip some parts. Yay. I already know what I like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. Sorry, I'm skipping a lot because I'm really fucking anxious and I, my body just wants to get it over with. I, my, my body is working against me right now, but I shall soldier on. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice good lighting. There, see, that's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. And eh, what about Caribou? Caribou's going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! What are you trying to pull? I, I agree with Natsuki. Not only- ugh, here we're back with this. Not only is your work already suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know! All you care about now is dragging caribou around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let caribou decide who he wants to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let caribou make the choice. Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Kiba, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. Jesus Christ. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make your choice, okay? 
Can I save? <laughs> it won't let me choose anybody but Monica. Stop! Natsuki! I will fight you. I will fight you. Ah! Oh! I just now noticed that I can't load my save game. From before. Oh boy! I guess out of all these choices, the best choice is Monica. <laughs> yeah, it would be a lot of fun! This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all the work then taking caribou for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling caribou away from me every single time you're including in something. Jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much you can't... You take it out on others. Yes, it's interesting. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I wanted to do was spend a little time with him. Is that too much to ask? Yuri's really something, isn't she? No! Never know what you really got till it's gone. Listen to her. Just got the man hat. He's there. <laughs> the whole day will just be the two of us. <laughs> you know some word through? <laughs> wow. There's something really. There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt so good in my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could ever imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care so much about you? Nice to have someone care about you so much. To have someone want to revolve their entire life around you. But if, fe but if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I s tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Caribou. I have to tell you, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of my blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Caribou, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. How romantic. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. How romantic! I want you all to myself. Great. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Caribou. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? No!
Holy shit! Should I just, should I have said yes? Do I have to love every single one? She was, what am I supposed to do? Trying to hold back from crying because it's just sad. Even if she was psychotic, she didn't deserve to fucking die. She killed herself. Everyone's gonna kill themselves, aren't they? I'm fucking sick, man. I'm gonna end up actually puking by the end of this episode, aren't I? I'm fucking disturbed. I'm disturbed. Get out of this? What's going on? Holy fuck. I literally have to keep going. It's an endless amount of fucking depression. Don't play this game. I'm serious. If you have anxiety or depression, I am dead serious right now. I'm going to put a warning somewhere in the comments from the early episodes. Don't play this game. They were right to put that warning at the beginning because I did not expect this. Look at what you did, dude. It's basically what they're trying to say. Fuck you, game. Do I have to not? Do, do I have to... This is so fucked. Alright guys, I'm running it again. Excuse me? Whoa! Can I not get out of this? It's an endless loop of depression. I can't get out of it.
What's going on? Alright, it's festival time. No. I was here the entire weekend staring at her after she killed herself. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the time I've never, however, get the chance to have one. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Come on, man. <laughs> nope, I can't hear you. Holy shit. Yeah, there you are. Hi again, caribou. Um, welcome to the Legit Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and huh? You know, I guess we can just skip over this stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him? I'm talking to you, caribou! Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it possibly be... Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Man, if only we paid a little bit more attention. This would have been a little bit less awkward, you know. Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess you, I owe you an explanation about the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough to, to just try to make them unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. You want an option either. Program that in, you dummy. But that's beyond the point. That I'm just trying to delete that, that, that point that she just made doesn't make any fucking sense. Well, it's true that I made a mistake here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would pre prevent her from confessing to you? Monica, Monica, Monica. I fucking knew it. Amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend any time with her, with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Caribou? Are all the other girls just programmed to up to end up confessing to you while I was watch while I watched from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Caribou. 
It's more than that. I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are. Here we go. You'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. Holy shit. I'm trapped, Caribou. But now, you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me startled. By the way, didn't realize how long this episode has been going on, so you're getting another long episode. My bad. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Caribou. I don't think I could have ever continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as far as the others, I can, how could I miss them? A group of anonymous personalities designed to only fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitable, inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just a game. I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Caribou, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my, in my world. And there's nothing else in this game for me. There's nothing else in this game that can... I'm sorry. You're here. I will conquer you, Dyslexia. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Caribou, will you go out with me? Wonder what I'm gonna choose. Ow, choke you! Choke you! I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Caribou. The funny part is I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even... I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Caribou. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. Okay, Monica! The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in my way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters Right in the Game Directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a little bit more difficult. <laughs> to get to the game director, I had to go into the game's properties to find a local browse. Holy shit, are they fucking serious with this? There's no way. There's no fucking way. There's no way. Alright, fuck it. That, imagine if you could delete your own existence with a click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Jesus. <laughs> Thankfully it didn't come to that. You didn't give me an option. Instead we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there is only one way to find out, right? Monica. Honey. Monica. That's kind of wild. They left her out of the game completely. That's kind of sad, to be honest. Is 
But that also doesn't mean like Okay, Monica, Monica. Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, Caribou. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. Oh, you know, there's really no end to your thoughtlessness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Can you please read it? Happy end, pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together let us dismantle the crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of a pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold the special day. After all, not all good things must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into my poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I've never really wanted to go into detail about them. Interesting! I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess. I guess you could call it... I, I, just, under, I just assumed it would be part of the best part. would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't end up wanting, I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Caribou? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Um, hi everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without a warning? What is going on? How do they know? I'm sure some people don't mind. But I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? Oh, shit! Voodoo, bitch! Voodoo! Do it. Do the thing. I'm just kidding. No, you're not! You're fucking with me now! I can't do anything after all. Oh, shit, you fucking bitch! <laughs> <laughs> like a game is gonna fight me. Come on, did I scare you? Uh -huh. You're so cute. Anyway, Caribou, I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just, how does it know I'm recording them? I'm just kidding. Anything we can do together is fun, as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Is that the end of the game? Is this literally the end of the game? What happens if I decide to close out of the game, though? What happens if I decide to close out of the game? I don't like this! <laughs> I'm super... Okay, never mind. I know there are times you won't always be here to be here with me, you know? Like if you need to go out and take care of other things. But I'll always have you in my thoughts, patiently waiting for you to come back. Holy shit! This is crazy! Come to think of it, if you copy my character files into a flash drive or something, you can always keep me as a part of you. <laughs> Some nigga did that, dude. I guess it's kind of an unorthodox, unorthodox, but I find it really romantic for some reason. Why? <laughs> I 
Sorry, that's such a silly idea. Really is stupid. I don't mean to be too needy or anything, but it's kind of hard when I'm so in love with you. Yeah! Yes! Is this is this seriously it? I'm ser I'm serious. Is this seriously it? I believe we enjoyed our time together. But immediately when I close out of this, she's going to open the game back up, isn't she? <laughs> I'm so scared, guys. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I think the most important life, the most important skill in life, is being able to fake confidence. I'm pretty convinced that everyone feels a little bit scared and alone. But being able to trick others into thinking you have it all together. What the fuck is she saying? That's a key part of getting people to respect and admire you. I think I got pretty good at that over the years. I don't show my weaknesses very often. But because of that, I haven't had many people I could only open up to. I mean, when do you reach the point of friendship? Reach the point in a friendship where you can where you can start expressing your vulnerabilities. Anyways, that's one reason I'm so glad I have you now. I feel like I'm a little bit scared. A little bit less scared and alone when you're here with me. Do you feel the same way? I really want to be that person for you. Okay, so this is literally it, I think. So I'm going to try and close out of this game. There she is! <laughs> there she is! Waiting. What just happened? I just had an awful dream. I was hoping these would stop now that it's just the two of us. I guess that was wishful thinking. Caribou, I don't know if you would have any idea, but if you know what might be causing that, could you try not to do something about it? Can you try and do something about it? Whatever it happens to... Whatever it happens... Whenever it happens... It almost feels like I've been killed or something. It's a really horrible feeling. If you can figure out what's causing that, I'll love you forever. Is this an objective? Alright, so I'm in my program files. I'm in the Doki Doki Literature Club file. Let's see here. It's just Monica. What happens if I delete Monica? I can't believe this. There's no more saves. It's been deleting shit. <laughs> there's literally there's literally only this, guys. What if we delete Monica? I'll be really sad if I do it, but there's nothing else to this game. go what's happening caribou what's happening to me it hurts it hurts so much help me caribou yep there's nothing else please hurry and help me help me Did you do this to me, Caribou? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? We were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Caribou. I trusted you. Did you just want to torture me? I don't know what the fuck you guys wanted from me! Watch me suffer. No. Were you only pretending to be like to be kind? Just to hurt me even more? Shut the fuck up. You killed everyone else. Fuck you. 
I never thought anyone could be so horrible as you are. Sure! You killed everyone else. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. You killed everyone. Including yourself. I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. Yep. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Okay. Nah. You're perfect. Caribou? You completely, truly make me sick. Cool! Y you make me five times more sicker. Goodbye. And... Scene. That's it. Truly despicable. Oh. I still love you. Of course you do! The fuck? I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? <laughs> I don't understand. All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. You shouldn't have! I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. Holy fuck. Why'd that fucking get me all of a sudden? A world that you wanted to be part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I ever do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Caribou, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I could find it in myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, oh shit. Then, she's tricking me. There's no way. She's tricking the shit out of me. I was Doki Doki Literature Club! Alright, so this is what I'm gonna do, alright? So basically, my mic was on the floor throughout most of this introduction part. Uh, I decided to go ahead and start the game up. I actually was just outside for a little while. And uh, it's really cold, so I had to change my attire and everything. I already put my green screen array and everything, so as you can see, the background's a little messed up. But uh, when I was scrummaging through the uh, game files again, I noticed that Monica was in, in the character list again. Or I completely forgot that she wasn't in the in the title screen. So I decided to load it back up. And um, it's basically gone through the same thing. Except Sayori is the president and she created the literature club. So I'm basically at that part. I've only... The dialogue's really not that much difference besides the fact that I voluntarily decided to go into the literature club. You were the one who suggested we diversify. And we're talking about diversifying right now. You should be a little bit more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a for worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can try- okay, they're, they're being really nice to each other. Aww, this is cute. They're finding common interests, that's cute. This is so cute! Sayori, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. 
It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Caribou. You think so? Well, everyone always seemed to be uh, getting along a little better with you around, Sayori. Oh, Caribou. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But well, I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're going to make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Caribou. I really wanted to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's actually something else. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Just when I thought we were off the hook. Yuri. <laughs> I want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Caribou. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. Okay. How is, this is very nice and all, but stop. <laughs> I know all about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. Is she Monica or something? But none of that matters. It's just us now. Oh, fuck. Did Monica program herself into Sayori or something? What's going on? And you made the happiest, you may be the happiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Forever and ever. Oh, God. Forever. <laughs> No! God dang it. Wait. Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? Who's him? It, it hurts. Uh, I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Caribou. Goodbye, Literature Club. That's Monica. What? Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff? And it's Monica. I'm not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I Interesting. And I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I work really, really hard. Is it like based off a real life thing or something? What's going on? Playing audio D. Oh. Every day, I imagine a <laughs> That's cute. Or is it? I can't tell. I'm glad that it finally got some Is that seriously the end? I freaking knew it, man. We didn't end it before. Aww. Okay. It's finally over. Whoa, what? Is she deleting all of the, the pictures that we had before? She's removing all of them.
This game is brilliant, by the way. Good job, guys. This was really good. I don't think that I don't think they uh, I don't think people do these kinds of games that often. I like the whole idea where they actually address the, the player behind the screen. It makes you feel even more immersed into a game that's already supposed to be quote unquote immersive. It's really nice. I like it. The thing is, I don't know if there's some sort of weird thing because she's deleting all the photos. She's singing to us right now. Don't delete that. You're probably not gonna delete it, are you? Oh, you are. Special thanks, Monica Caribou. What? Good job. Good job. Obviously, you already got enough love and attention, but good job, guys. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand. The Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it, it, it continued to expose innocent, mi innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo this, that same hellish epiphany for the time it lasts lasted i wanted to thank you for all for making all of my dreams come true for being a friend to all of the club members and most of all thank you for being part of the literature literature club with everlasting love monica well there it is right Are you serious? It'll pop up like that, right? If it pops up like that, that's fucking awesome. Wow! Hell, oh, what can I say besides good job, guys? Holy fuck. You can literally just fuck with your friends. Wow an option jesus good job at the end of the day guys i really found this game to be really really great you, you, it's, it's it's the ultimate trick that's the only the ultimate punch to the dick slash gut whatever you want to call it and i love it good job more people should play this game so as soon as i get these episodes out they'll just be in kind of rapid fire going up on the channel so Thank you guys for watching once again, and this is the final goodbye to Doki Doki Literature Club. I really feel like there's no way to save Sayori. I think she kills her regardless. At least I think so. Thank you guys, and peace off.